red carpet <laughs> with the one and only one of the greatest filmmakers of our time. <laughs> I love it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Muhammad Ali called himself the greatest before he even was. So I'm going to take what you just said as a prophetic word. I love it. What do you call yourself? Uh, you know, just Devon. Just Devon? That's it. Well, what's unique about you as a filmmaker? You know, I think that um, I'm very committed to uplifting the human spirit. and I'm committed to inspiration. You know, and I, I think that for me, if it's not inspiring, I can't do it. And it's just the type of content that I've always gravitated to. I lost my father when I was young, nine years old, and it was really entertainment that kind of helped me navigate where I was and ultimately where I wanted to be. So I want to do that for others, too. So why is it important for us people to tune in to your new show, Kingdom Business? We have all these shows that yeah. you're doing across all these uh, streaming platforms. What makes this one unique? Why should everybody tune in? Oh, my goodness. This show, the, the entertainment value, the drama, the music, the characters, the storyline. There's a murder mystery as well. Like, I think people, when they watch it, uh, they are blown away and surprised at the quality of the writing and the storytelling. So it's going to be your new favorite show. One of the things I love about this show is the whole idea of a stripper having a voice and yeah. gospel and drawing yeah. others. And we read about it in the Bible, the story of um, Hosea and Gomer. So why is it important for people who feel outcasted from the church to feel like they're a part of it? You know, because... Um God is not a respecter of person, meaning like sometimes as people, we play favorites depending on who somebody is and who somebody who we think someone may or may not be. And when you look at that, that's not how God operates. We're all God's children. We all have access to his love. We are all loved by him. And so this show really displays that because sometimes we think because somebody does a certain thing that they're not in favor with God. That's just not true. And we wanted to show that there is a powerful voice, even in someone who you may not think there is. And then it begs the question, especially in the show, well, like, who's qualified to sing gospel? You know, and we really get into that and we talk about that as a way to challenge the viewer to not be so judgmental. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. Thank you so much. We're excited about your new book. We're excited about your upcoming projects. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Javon Franklin. <laughs> right.